Hello and welcome to my tutorial on how to apply the essential video editors pack to your project today. I'm going to run this tutorial in Adobe Premiere Pro, it's just my chosen preference for chopping up uh, footage really nice and quickly. These can be applied to your chosen software. Um, so as you can see I already have two bits of footage, a nice light bit and a nice light dark bit of footage. Um, so I can kind of highlight how these are applied. I'm going to go through each different group of elements, just explain how they're used in your project. The LUTs, the colour LUTs, um, I've got a separate video on how to apply them as you would need to install them to your software. So I thought I'd do that in a different video. So starting from the top, we'll go with film borders. Now we've got still and animated versions here. So what I'll do is I'll just literally drag and apply that over the top of my footage. As you can see, it instantly gives us that film effect. Now we've got a number of different options just depending on the style you're after. I'll drag and drop another version in. This is one of the still ones. As you can see, it gives a nice uh, film effect straight away. Nothing, nothing really to add there. Straightforward, what you see is what you get. On to the next one, we have film dust. And we've got different levels of intensity um, for here. So we'll, let's pull on film dust five, see how it looks really effective there um, so like I say there's different levels of this let's pull on film dust 2 see how that looks really nice just gives us that film effect straight away nothing more to that one again just drag it and drop over this is more of a black speckled dust um, that's a bit more prominent on the lighter footage Again, really easy to use. You can combine these effects so that looks really nice with the film borders. Uh, onto the next one, we have HUD or HUD frames. I never know how to actually say that one. It's kind of like a sci fi effect. These are a bit more effective over the dark footage, as you can imagine. So I'll show you how that looks. Pull that over the, the footage. Really effective. Just gives your video a different element. Here's another one. Really easy to apply. Uh, just give your footage a different element, I guess. Nice, okay, so on to the next group, we have light leaks. We'll pull them over, pull it all over the whole footage here and just see how that looks. Um, as you can see, it just gives a nice light leak effect. Um, as you can see in some parts, it does darken the footage. So what I would do here is go to your effects panel and actually choose lighten on the blend mode options. It just gets rid of that and you just keep the uh, light leaks itself. Another thing you can do here, as you see, so I just, um, drag that down to a smaller size. You can just apply this over two bits and use it as a transition almost. You see, so there's numerous things you can do with these light leaks. Um, again, I'll let you get creative with them. I'd, I'd um, advise using the blender mode options here though, like I say. Onto the next one, transitions. Similar to how I just used the light leaks there at the end. You can literally just drag and drop um, over two bits of footage. What you want to do is you want to get the center point of the transition in between the two clips that you want to you know, transition to and from. Um, you can be a bit more accurate here. I'm just going to drag it and drop it really quickly and show, show you how it looks. Again, you can choose different blending modes to get different effects. Um, I'll try a different one for you. Let's go with transition three. A bit more of a choppy one this. Like I say, you can be really much more accurate with it here in your placement. I'm just doing it for speed of the tutorial. Just helps to nicely link two bits, two clips together in a more dynamic way. So again, get creative with that, see what you can come up with. On to the last section, we have viewfinders. So again, we have uh, still and animated versions here again. I'm just gonna pull a random one in. Viewfinder 12, this is one of the still ones. As you can see, these are a bit more uh, prominent over the darker footage, usually I find. Although they do work in some cases like over light footage, but let's have a look how that looks. So that's one of the still ones. Really simple again, just drag it and drop it in. Let's find one of the animated versions. There we go. So you know, um, just add another element to your work again. Get creative with them, see what you can come up with. Let's try another one. That's one of the more subtle ones. But yeah, you can you get the gist of it. Um, it'd be great to see what you guys come up with. Um, you know, combine these effects, um, use them in conjunction with each other. Um, like I say, send me what you make over and I'm looking to create some more tutorials like this. Um, just showing you how to apply all of my effects. Um, I have a range of different packs out right now. Uh, this is one of the more comprehensive ones. It covers quite a few different elements, as you can see. 
Um, I'd also be interested in creating some tutorials for you um, on how to create some of these elements itself if that's something you're interested in. Uh, let me know in the comments and thanks for watching today guys.